All right, I'm Scott with iTech Consulting. Um, today's episode, we're gonna look at uh, GRE tunnels. Um, pretty basic, we're just gonna do a, a simple configuration. Um, I have four routers up in GNS3. Um, two are the ISPs and then two are the uh, client locations. One in Chicago, one in Denver. So uh, we're going to start out with the IP configurations on uh, Chicago. So uh, we're going to go to global configuration mode and put in the IP addresses. Um, if I get spell right. There we go. It's up slash 30. And then we're going to configure the loopback address to simulate the internal network for uh, Chicago. And that is uh, 10911 with a um, slash 24. And we're going to go do the same thing on the next router. The, uh, the sound video might be a little bit off. I recorded the uh, the actual video before I put in the uh, the audio. So now we're gonna do the IP address on uh, the ISB uh, A. And normally, in a configuration like this, you wouldn't touch any of the ISP uh, routing information. Um, that would all be handled on their end, and it'd be mostly uh, mostly the inside cloud, like the cloud to uh, show that uh, he wouldn't really know what's going on because it's all the ISP's network. But in this case, we can't uh, we can't really do that because we don't really have one because we're just simulating it. Yeah, this was a good one. Um, I try to try to add an IP address of the interface instead of doing the IP address, and I need to actually get into the interface. I had to go check and see what the heck was going on. It was a long night. All right, so here's the uh, slash thirty for um, the inside network of the ISP. And then now we're on to uh, ISP2, which is labeled router B. We don't have to uh, worry about serial like clocking in GNS3. It doesn't uh, it doesn't do that. Otherwise, with your serial interfaces, you need to do a DC to DTE connection. Finally, we're on the last one. And this is the public IP address for the connection. Um, fast Ethernet 00. 
on Denver. And then the internal side, which we have the loop back, is 172, 16, 1, 1 with the slash 24 as well. Alright, so now um, we're going to configure a routing protocol, which we'll use like RIP or something to uh, to connect the four uh, devices together, so you can have end-to-end -end connectivity between them. So we'll do uh, we'll do RIP. So we're just putting no auto summary and uh, putting the ne network address for uh, each of the IP subnets and then we're going to do this on all four devices Sorry, kind of, kind of jumping around a little bit. My computer is not the fastest for using GNS three. I need to, I need to build my own computer, especially when I get into the the BGP and MPLS and labs like that when I have a lot more routers. You can feel free to skip all this. You already know it. Because the uh, the next part after we get this all configured is um, we're testing to make sure that we actually have full connectivity um, with all of our public IP addresses um, from Chicago to Denver, and likewise. And then uh, then we're gonna finally create our uh, GRE tunnel. And then uh, configure a routing protocol for the uh, GRE tunnel and the internal IP addresses. Uh, but that's coming up after we finally get RIP configured on all these. So we did a show IP route, and it it doesn't show anything yet, but we haven't uh, given it enough time. We will do it again, and it should pop back in there. We'll uh, we'll do an IP protocols to see if we have it all running right, and it's showing in there. And there we go. Now it's now it's populating. So uh, we'll ping Chicago's address, and we should be able to reach that.